power, this life of the Trinity is what lifts us, has the ability, the capacity to lift us out of ourselves, out of our smallness, and make a difference. And enables us to see the potential we have of being someone even more than the person you are right now. Even more than the person you are right now. You know, one of my favorite statements to parents who bring their children to baptism and my trying to encourage them to recognize their responsibility once the sacrament has been received to nurture that fire that has been placed there to, to care for that child and to bring that child up in the love of God. I say to them, you don't realize that what you're doing for this child today that they, may have, they will have the capacity one day to do much more than what you're doing for them today. If you help them to live that life. If you don't, then it will simply lie dormant and go nowhere. So all of us, if you think about it, all of us here today, even from this retreat of the Holy Spirit working, can leave this place and have the capacity to be someone more than what we are right now. That's amazing. Amazing. The point I've tried to make is, you not only can be holy, if God lives in you, you are holy. Now, you may not like the term, but you better get used to it, because it's another word for Christian. However, before you start building a pedestal, let me ask you. Are you living your holiness? Yes. Amen. Because you see, sanctity, it's not a tattoo on your arm. It's not a stamp on your soul. It's never meant to be static. It's not a creed that you profess. It has to be more. It has to be dynamic. 